how is my corneal thickness measured and why is the number so important so you need to understand the reason why we do corneal thickness is basically because we have to remove some tissue to do any laser vision correction for every one diopter we remove about 15 microns of tissue now basically this is what a corneal topography looks like if you see the map here the color coordination if you see the colors here anything around this yellow green and orange as you can see the thickness is 500 530 560 microns ideally the thickness of the cornea is around 530 which is the normal thickness of the cornea so if it is falling in green yellow and uh, blue it is slightly in the normal range as it goes more blue and violet that means the cornea is very thick or it is very flat if it is going into the slightly warmer colors that means the cornea is more steeper and more thinner so which is again a red flag for any laser vision correction so coming to this patient as you can see the minimal thickness that means his least corneal thickness is 511 microns now this patient is having a power of minus 3 so for minus 3 we have to remove around 15 microns of tissue that is minus 3 into 15 is about 45 microns now 511 minus 45 that means he is left with 466 microns so the ideal cutoff zone should be more than 400 that is the residual stomal bed now he's having 466 that means he's falling way above the safety zone that actually make makes him a good candidate for laser vision correction